Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number 844-236-6010. If you have questions about our truth treatment products or anything we're speaking about here today, a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase your longevity products off of our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Or if you prefer, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program and make some money at the same time. Or thank you checks, work out of your home, right off your home office. Or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, you can do that as well. For a one-time $25 fee, call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 for more information. And if you'd like to purchase any of our Truth Treatment products, please go to truthtreatments.com or Truth Transdermal C Serum, Truth Transdermal C Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, Truth Retinol 5% gel, and now our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist made with fulvic minerals and high aluronic acid and amino acids and lactic acid. Helps all your other truth treatment products spread, plus it delivers activity on its own. Fulvic acid and fulvic minerals, fulvic complexes carry water into cells, carry nutrients into cells. The, just the hydration effect of fulvic acids is so dramatic that you can, you can spray our Biomimetic Mineral Mist in your hair and it will hydrate your hair and soften your hair. Fulvic minerals are just absolutely amazing, amazing nutrients, amazing substances, amazing elements, amazing things. Fulvic acid, fulvic minerals, fulvic vitamins, fulvic amino acids, they all exist in a complex in nature. And it's these fulvites, collectively known as fulvic, fulvites, that's a good way of terming it. It's made up of minerals and amino acids and all the nutrients, uh, uh, plus, the, plus the fulvic complex. These fulvites are the active ingredient in dirt. That's the best way to think of them. They're what make dirt the most powerful, life-giving substance that it is. It's the fulvites. And uh, you can now apply the fulvites directly to your skin in our biomimetic mineral mist. You can find out all about our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we've been talking about the cell membrane, the outside part of the cell. I hope it's not... I always hesitate to get too much into the weeds with this stuff but it's just so amazing i want you guys to just feel how amazing it is that something as tiny as infinitesimal as a cell the one one hundredth the size of the head of a pin can have this kind of complexity and this this kind of layering and all of these compartment all this compartmentalization all of these little components 
in something that's as, as tiny as a cell. It's really mind-blowing. And then on the outside of the cell, you've got more layers. So we talked about the cell membrane and, and the membrane on the membrane. It's like the membrane has a membrane. That's how complex this thing is. The membrane has a membrane. The, the outside membrane is made up of, the inside membrane is made up of fat. That's what we always think of when we think of the cell membrane. But, and the cell membrane itself is just a, 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 a tiniest, just this ridiculously tiny, a thousand times smaller than the cell. So if there's one one hundredth the size of a head of a pin, it's a hundred thousand times thinner than a head of a pin. It's made of oil and it covers the cell. And it's not just oil, it's a computer chip. It's oil, it's a computer chip. Then on top of that, you got sugars. And this, these sugars are the glycocalyx and the importance of these sugars on top of the membrane, the membrane on top of the membrane, the sugar forest or sugar trees, that's what it looks like, a bunch of trees made up of sugar. If you could shrink yourself down to that level, you'd see a bunch of trees made out of sugar. And the importance of these, this sugar calyx mass coating, whatever you want to call it, when it comes to health and disease cannot be overstated. There's not a single health issue that doesn't involve this. The composition and the stability of these sugars is vitally important, especially for heart disease and vascular disease. You guys, it's not cholesterol that causes heart disease. It's the glycocalyx or a disruption in the glycocalyx. Then cholesterol comes to the rescue to, pack, to fix things up, and we blame the cholesterol. Heart disease, circulatory disease, vascular disease, cardiovascular disease is a glycocalyx issue. That means sugars. That means... Use sugars. Now, I'm, you know, I'm sure you know I'm not referring to table sugar. I mean, these plant sugars that we talked about, the essential sugars they call them, they're not necessarily essential, but they, they're found in fruits and vegetables. That's where they're found mostly. Also eggs. In fact, eggs are one of nature's best sources of the glycocalyx because eggs are a cell. They've got a glycocalyx in them. So the, uh, the membrane on the membrane, the sugar coat, the outside of the cells, it's really interesting actually. The, the outside part of a cell, the very external component of uh, external layer of the cell, the glycocalyx, right? It's actually embedded in stuff. And that stuff is part of who we are. There's no real difference between the glycocalyx and the stuff. Remember, the body is made up of cells and stuff. I call it raisin bread. The body is made up of, of cells, and the cells make the stuff. And it's like the, the cells are sitting in the stuff. But it's not that simple because the stuff is feeding the cells, and the cells are making the stuff. It's a big circle. You could think of the glycocalyx as either the outside of the cell or the beginning of the stuff. And the truth is it's probably both. The stuff, by the way, is called the extracellular matrix. But we're just going to call it the stuff. And this is really important when it comes to health. It's like the cell gradually becomes the environment that it's sitting in. And in this way, the cells and the stuff that the, the stuff that the cell is sitting in is one unit. There's no real distinction between the cell and the environment. And this is really an interesting metaphor. There's no real difference between a thing and the thing that this thing that the thing is sitting in, the stuff that the thing is sitting in. So there's no difference between the cell and the matrix, and there's no difference between us and our environment. There's no clear-cut distinction between a cell and the stuff that the cell is sitting in, its environment. And likewise, there's no clear-cut distinction between us and our environments. We are embedded in a matrix of air that we breathe and water we drink and the light that comes from the sun and with each other. And when, when we get sick, there's a disruption, there's a separation, there's a cleaving of the unified whole of the cells and the stuff that's sitting in. And when our society gets sick, when our culture gets sick, likewise, there's a cleaving, there's a separation between us and the environment that we're in. That's why our environment is so toxic. We think we're, we don't see that we're connected. So we don't mind toxing it up. It's the same thing that happens inside the body. Toxicity in the stuff the cell is sitting in, basically from food, ironically, stuff that's supposed to nourish us, Food is the basic source of toxicity that gets into the stuff, and that's when we get sick. And that's when we say we have diseases. Diseases is a disruption between the cells and the stuff. It's so important. The word health means whole. To be healthy is to be whole. 
So that this, this disruption, we somehow unify this disruption, which really, the disruption can't really happen. It's just in our imagination. Anyway, we'll continue when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We, have, we do have lines open for you at 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, or head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase the longevity products off the website. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team off the website as well. Click on the Join the Team link or call 866-735-2470 for more information. Okay, so... The glycocalyx, the stuff on the outside of the cell, meets the rest of the body, meets the rest of the, the body, I guess you'd say. And it's all kind of one big thing. There's no real separation between the two. However, when communication breaks down, that's when we run into problems. When damage occurs at this level, at, at, in the environment the cell is sitting in, when damage occurs in the environment that the cell is sitting in, the cell gets sick. Just like when damage occurs in the environment we are in, we get sick. Toxicity is the main culprit. Toxicity disrupts information flow. And the cell doesn't, it isn't able to read the environment as effectively. It's not, it's, it's not able to adjust as effectively, and that's when we get sick. Health is derived from the word whole. Sickness is separation. Wholeness is health. Whole and holy. The word separation actually means sin. The word sin actually means separation. Sin, what they call sin, is when we're separate. Or we, when we, somehow we perceive ourselves as being separate. Being holy is being whole. Being healthy is being whole. Whole, healthy, they're all the same thing. It's all when there's a, a, a smooth flow of energy or information from the outside to the inside. Body's made up like raisin bread. It's got raisins and bread, except we call it cells and stuff. The stuff is technically called extracellular matrix. I'm just going to call it stuff. The raisins, uh, uh, raisin bread is raisins and bread. The body is cells and stuff. It's the same kind of metaphor. Same kind of, same, it, it's just the same kind of thing, if you will. The cells are where the livingness happens. There's no livingness in the stuff. There's energy in the stuff. But what distinguishes a cell is that it's alive. It has a livingness. And don't ask what that means because nobody knows what that means. But somehow it's incredibly, incredibly organized to the extent that nobody can even possibly imagine it. And, and there are, it's so interesting. There's the cell, which is 1 100th the size of a head of a pen, is responsible for billions of pages of information in textbooks and, and, and journal articles in libraries all over the world. This little tiny thing called a cell. The cell is where life occurs. But here's what's really cool. The cells make the stuff and then the stuff turns around and feeds the cells and oxygenates the cells and electrifies the cells and detoxifies the cells, which then make more stuff. It's a big circle and there's not really separation between the two. The stuff is composed of sugars and proteins. And there's some fats in there too, but basically it's sugars and proteins. And these sugars and proteins that make the stuff are the same sugars and proteins at, at, at the end of the cell. There's no real separation. The glycocalyx on the cell doesn't really end. There's no real border between the cells and the stuff. This glycocalyx is like a bridge between the cells and the stuff. And if you understand how important the cells are and the stuff is and the relationship between the two, you can now understand why the glycocalyx, which is the bridge, is so darn important. And nobody talks about it. It's like the cells gradually become the stuff and this entanglement between cells and stuff is why a lot of scientific assumptions are just not accurate. It's why allergy testing, for example, doesn't work because they take the cells out of the stuff. When you separate the cells out of the stuff, it's not the same thing. So when you do tests on drugs in a, in a Petri dish on cells and you try to determine what's happening in the Petri dish, it's not the same thing as what's happening in the body because it's all enmeshed. You can't isolate the cells from the stuff. Six cells are not just six cells. They are six cells and six stuff because it's not separate. And, and modern medicine doesn't recognize that. In order to keep the cells healthy, you've got to address the stuff too. It's all one big thing. 
And this is why the glycocalyx, or addressing the glycocalyx, can be so important. For example, here's a classic example. Glucosamine, which everybody knows for taking arthritis, is part of the glycocalyx. The reason glucosamine is so multifunctional and why it's good for your blood and why it's good for your vascular system and why it's good for your brain and why it's good for your joints and why it's good for your skin is because it's part of that glycocalyx. And all cells have it, so all cells benefit from glucosamine. Oh yeah, bone broth, same deal. Bone broth is rich in glycocalyx. And that's why bone broth is so multifunctional as a nutritional food. Eating the glycocalyx is a critical part of good health. Throughout history, most of the glycocalyx we got was from bone, was from bone broth and, and marrow. Eggs are a great source of, of this glycocalyx. And as I said earlier, uh, veggies. Veggies and mushrooms, by the way. Mushrooms are an amazing source of the glycocalyx, one of nature's best. In fact, that's why you'll see mushrooms used for the immune system as well as for building skin and for uh, detoxification and for a lot of things because mo uh, mushrooms are a very rich source of the glycocalyx or glycocalyx components. If you want to supplement, get yourself uh, the uh, ultimate youth from longevity, which, is, which contains these glycocalyx substances, these sugars. Without a healthy glycocalyx, you cannot have a healthy body. And all health challenges, especially the biggies, autoimmune disease, heart disease, cancer, are defective glycocalyx, at least partially defective glycocalyx, which means glucosamine will help you with everything. Bone broth will help you with everything. Reading from the British Journal of Pharmacology, September 2015, major, quote, major constituents of the glycocalyx, including, I'm not even going to read these, syn well, syndicans, heparin sulfates, and hyaluron hyaluronic acid is an all-time great glycocalyx supplement, by the way. Major constituents of the glycocalyx are shed from the endothelial surface, that is the surface of the blood vessels, under various acute and chronic clinical conditions, including sepsis, hypoxia, that means low blood oxygen, atherosclerosis, diabetes, renal disease, and viral infections. And you could add a lot more to it. If you add cancer to that list, you could add autoimmune, autoimmunity to that list. Over the course of, here's where it really gets interesting. Over the course of hundreds of millions of years, plants have figured out the importance of the glycocalyx. Plants have created chemical weapons that target the glycocalyx. There's this battle going on in our environment between plants and people, or plants and animals. Animals eating the plants, plants not wanting to be eaten. Plants, you know, they can't run away, right? So they've got to develop a, 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 some kind of sophisticated defense system that will uh, make up for the fact that they can't locomote, that they can't move. So a plant is just sitting there <laughs> waiting to be eaten. But see, plants aren't so dumb. They have come up with chemical weaponry that targets animal cell glycocalyxes. Glycocalyxes, is that how you say it? They have all these numerous substances. They're anti-glycocalyx molecules. And guess what? They're called lectins. And just now, you're starting to hear lectins getting out there in the mainstream. It's always, you'll hear it on the bright side 10 years before you hear it in the mainstream. Or seven years. Funny, you know, I asked Dr. Wallach one time about that. How do you like it, Doc? I said, how do you like it, Doc, when people are recognizing things in the mainstream, and you read it in the New York Times and in uh, People Magazine, things you've been talking about for 30 years. He kind of laughed. But we've been talking about lectins for years. What is it about lectins? Lectins are anti-glycocalyx molecules, including gluten. That's how gluten works. All right, I'm pharmacist Fanny, 442366010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side, 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we've got lots of lines open for you, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in just a sec. I want to read a couple stories here. Uh, let's see. This is from McMaster University in Canada, published in Science Translational Medicine. Intestinal bacteria alter gut and brain function. IBS especially is uh, uh, IBS is especially uh, affected by intestinal bacteria, irritable bowel syndrome. I was just reading. What was I just reading about a guy who had Crohn's disease? Oh, about a musician. This guy, Nicky Hopkins. He was a famous keyboard player. 
from the 60s. He was a keyboard player for, he, for the Rolling Stones and for... Uh, he was a famous session musician, Jeff Beck, and a whole bunch of people in England in the 1960s and 1970s. And I was reading how he couldn't tour because he had this terrible health this health challenge. He ended up dying when he was 50 years old, and he couldn't tour. He had to just work in studios because he was so sickly. And I was kind of curious about what was he so sickly about. I kept reading this little article, and it said he was he had this horrible disease that he had his whole life and ended up killing him. It's called Crohn's disease. I was like, Are you kidding me? This poor guy, he died of Crohn's disease at age 50, and he suffered his entire life for something that, that was a, a digestive problem. He couldn't. His doctors couldn't correct a digestive problem. Listen, if you got Crohn's disease or IBS or ulcerative colitis. Or, or, or any kind of health challenge that affects the digestive system, you have so many non-medical strategies that you can use that really will cure the problem. Not just hide the problem like a steroid drug will, or like hacking out part of your colon will. And of course, chief of, uh, of these strategies, uh, among these strategies for dealing with gut problems, like, and they're horrible, Crohn's disease and celiac, as anybody who knows them has them, they're horrible beyond description, beyond words. And it's so simple to address, really, truly address it, not hide the symptoms, and it doesn't need a doctor. And the first thing you want to do is get yourself on a good probiotic supplement. And when it comes to good probiotic supplement, I'm, it isn't that easy. You got to you got to uh, play around with the dose, and you got to play around with the brands, and you got to find one you like and want one that works. And then also you want to do fermented foods, and also you want to do fiber. And it's true about any health challenge, any of them. According to this article. Uh, researchers found that aspects of the illness that were impacted through, through get, check this out, fecal transplants. That's what they're doing now is fecal transplants to restore gut bacteria. They actually will, will sterilize and make little fecal, pow they'll desiccate fecal material, liquefy, desiccate it, make capsules out of it. And... Uh, and there's all kinds of health benefits that you get from these things, especially if you have IBS. Why? What's in the fecal transplants? Good bacteria. You don't have to have fecal transplants. You just make sure that you're using a good probiotic supplement, eating fermented foods, using fiber, and correcting digest uh, pretty much correcting all digestive health issues. That's always going to be the key. Here's another one. Gut, micro mi gut microbes and poor artery health. Researchers probe link. This is from, uh, this is from University of Colorado in Boulder. Scientific evidence that the assortment of gut microbes in humans influences different aspects, uh, different and critical aspects of health. Researchers think our microbes may influence obesity, anxiety, depression, autism, cancer, and gastrointestinal disease. And now, according to researchers at the University of Colorado in Boulder, poor artery health that's associated with aging. And your doctor is going to put you on a statin drug, of course. You know... It's not his fault. It's the model. It's the paradigm. He just bought into it. If your doctor gives you a statin drug before he tells you to correct digestive health if you're dealing with your heart disease, he's just bought into the model that says you can use a statin drug and have 1% less heart attacks. That's basically what we're talking about here. 1% or 2% less heart attacks if you have a statin drug. That's what the whole statin drugs hullabaloo is about. 1% or 2% less heart attacks. Is that what we're really satisfied with when it comes to health? Oh, and they don't tell you about, the, about all the toxicity associated with it, but you have 1% or 2% less heart attacks. All right, 844 is our number. We do have lines open for you. Uh, let's see if I want to read one more here. Let's go to Lorraine in Idaho and say good morning. How you doing, Lorraine? Great, and I love your programs. I watch you on YouTube all the time, even oh, when nice. I'm exercising. Oh, You're awesome. You're fabulous. You look fabulous. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. So what's going um, on? Did you call question... me just to tell me nice things about me? No. No, you didn't. no. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm like uh, 130 pounds, 55 years old. I exercise a lot, like two hours a day. I'm bike riding, heavy duty gardening stuff, and I'm already taking Beyond Tangy Tangerine. But from what you've said, and I'm doing all your other stuff, like the whey powder and the lecithin, and so much stuff, I don't even have time to eat regular food. <laughs> but um... you're probably eating a lot less regular food, though, aren't you? Yeah, I know. It's like good. It's like you don't have time to eat the bad stuff. Not you're time. Like, you just. Yeah, you're satisfied. So much of what we I'm eat is because we're not satisfied. 
Go ahead. Yeah, right. So, like, but now my question is, you know, B, I'm taking BTT 2.0. I want to take the selenium from what you said about doing good things for your skin. Um, and uh, I also want to take the rebound, but I don't know, like, am I going to get too much selenium or too many things because, you yeah, know, what I'm taking is like one, the two. For the most part, you don't have to worry about that. But selenium, you know, you don't want to go crazy on it, although... You know, they, I say 200 to 600 micrograms a day. Dr. Wallach takes a gram a day, or a, a milligram a day, I should say. He takes a milligram yeah. a day. Uh, d- d- doctors will tell you don't take more than 100 micrograms a day. D- d- I, I don't know the exact number, but I know you do want to kind of limit it, but you definitely want more than the doctor tells you you need. That's for sure. Okay. So, so BTT is, and then the longevity selenium isn't too much yeah. to take? No, I would take 600, you know, 400 to 600 in there on the ultimate selenium. The, the, there's a little bit, I think there's like 20 micrograms or something in the BTT. I don't remember exactly, but it's a very small amount in the BTT that's not going to, you know, it's not, it's not, you're not going to do yourself harm, put it that way, with the BTT and four to 600 micrograms of selenium a day. Are you trying to treat something or, or what are you, well, what are you I thinking? Well, some skin issues. Like I had What's the deal? when I was younger. Okay. So it's like some skin tag things. And I just, like you talked about how it, it'll like make your skin more moist and stuff. I don't remember you know? saying that, but I mean, selenium well, is like, like an over... I YouTube video. I don't know. I made the link between like something about the skin and the selenium was like good for your Selen- skin or something. Yeah, there is some Moisture. importance... No, it's not so much moisture, but selenium is uh, an important nutrient for thyroid hormone, and thyroid hormone is important for the skin. I might, have been, I might have been talking about that. Also, selenium can have some medicinal properties for the skin. Selenium is the active ingredient in Selsun Blue, uh, and it's used for dandruff. So selenium does have some, like, topical, topical selenium does have some medicinal properties for things like, like uh, uh, dandruff or flaky skin those kinds of skin conditions, but really uh, it's more like it's, selenium is important for the thyroid and the immune system and detoxification and uh, it, it's part of making proteins and it has other roles to play. I wouldn't say its main role is the skin, on the skin, it, except for maybe some topical medicinal things. It's, it's, if you're trying to treat skin conditions, though, there's lots of better things you could do. Skin tags usually mean, do you still have skin tags? Or are you saying you had them yeah, in the past? Yeah, well, like I dropped a bunch of weight really quickly, you know, like maybe 15 years ago, and so that's kind of when they showed up. Uh, skin tags are usually a sign that your cells are not dividing as well as they sh- they're over dividing. And whenever that happens, think estrogen and think insulin. So it could have to do with your and uh, your estrogen being off. But I would guess that you got some blood sugar problems. It would be my guess if you have skin tags. Do you have skin? Do you have any dark spots? Um, a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I would guess that you got some stuff going on hormonally with uh, insulin and with cortisol. Selenium is more so like what a protective. Do I take for that? Uh, hang on, we'll, we got to take a commercial. Hang on and we'll, we'll come back. Yeah, selenium is more for like protecting the skin. It has more therapeutic properties. Uh, but I don't know, if, I, I'm not sure about skin tags, but we'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on the bright side. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com, also brightsideben.com. Got Listen Now links at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, all the longevity products, a join the team link that you can click on if you want to join the Brightside Ben team at pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and brightsideben.com. All right, our number is 844-236-6010, and we are talking to Lorraine in Idaho. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Lorraine, Lorraine. Yeah. Hey there. Yeah, I'm there. So, Hi. Okay, so what are your, tell me about your skin stuff now. Well, like I had anorexia when I was younger, so I dropped weight quickly and I got sort of little hard, couple hard skin taggy spots. Really? And I have some arthritis on okay. my issues. Okay. All right. Um, a couple things. Get you start, uh, you're 55, so it makes sense that you would start to have some fat issues. And I, I don't mean body fat. I mean dietary fat, uh, especially yeah. essential fatty acids. Get yourself on some EFAs uh, right, if you're not already. That. I would do mega doses of the EFAs if I were you, 12, 15 a day. Make sure you're doing them okay. with fatty mo- with fatty meals, and okay. uh, it, you might want to throw in some digestive enzymes to make sure you're processing those fats. That's the part of your body. If I were you, that's what I'd be focusing on. Fats, fatty vitamins, digestion of fats, um, fatty vitamins, especially vitamin A, extremely important, okay. particularly for the skin. 
Um, so like take more than the BTT you, with the vitamin oh yeah. A? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. 20,000 IU of vitamin A. Absolutely. More okay. than the BTT. Um, and then probably vitamin A goes along with vitamin D and zinc. So you might want to make sure. I don't know how much sun you're getting in Idaho these, you know, in the winter time. I take uh, sun like four thousand units of. Um, you know, vitamin, vitamin D. D supplements are not the best place to get your vitamin D, really. Okay. In fact, you know, they'll do these studies on vitamin D supplements and they'll say, oh, they don't work, blah blah blah. Vitamin D supplements are not the best way to get your vitamin D. The best way to get your vitamin D is from the sun, by far, and then also uh, from food. Vitamin D is really tricky. Vitamin it has to have has to be activated in order for it to be effective. And it gets activated by the sun. It also gets activated in the liver as well and, and, and in the kidney too. Uh, and so just because you take vitamin D in a supplement doesn't mean you're going to get the benefits of vitamin D. The best way is to get out in the sun or to use a sun lamp if you can't. You know, you live in Idaho or Michigan or something like that and you don't see the sun uh, for eight months a year or six months a year. You, you want to yeah. make sure that you're, you know, getting some sun exposure through a sun lamp. If you can, they're cheap. It's really, it's a great health tool. It's one of those little health tools. A sun lamp is one of those little health tools that would be so beneficial compared to how inexpensive it is. The cost to, the cost to benefit ratio is so unbelievably low. It costs so little to get so much benefits by using a sun lamp. That's, that's a, it, it's like a poster child for the kind of health strategies we should be using if we really cared about health. Every American would have a, a, a tax deduction or a free sun lamp on the government if we really cared about health. Not free drugs. You know, not free right. unlimited medicine, but a free sun lamp or a free massage every month or twice a month or every week. You know, the, can you imagine how, how much better off we would be in our lives if we got a massage every week? A real massage, like a bodily massage. And, the, and that was what our health, uh, that was part of our health care costs instead of free drugs. All right, Lorraine, I want to get, I want to get Carl the Truth Raider on. He's been on, holding on for a while. Did I answer your question? Yes, thank you so much. Thanks, Lorraine. Have a great day in Idaho. And Carl, I've been blowing you off there, so I'm going to give you some time. Carl, yes, the Truth Raider. From the Pacific test. Northwest, it is the Truth Raider on. With but you gotta have, you gotta have some good. Pharmacist Ben, the teacher. You gotta have something good, good morning, to say. Sir. Truth Raider, you gotta uh, have well, something. Yes. Good. Okay, good. The What's good going on? Good news. Good yes. news. Yes. Yes. If you cut open a watermelon and it has fissures in it, and yes. the flesh is light in color, throw it out. Why, what's that about? I was to speak a little bit with pharmacist Ben about a substance known as orochlorophenorum. Okay. Research this, folks. Do not buy any produce from the corporate giant grocery stores if it contains this particular. Either it's a growth hormone for the for fruits and vegetables or it's some type of a growth steroid. Say it again. Say two. it slowly, Carl. Say it slowly. Three syllables. Yes. Fluorochlorophenorum. Fluorochloro. Flora, flora, phenorum. Okay, okay, I get you. I kind of get a sense that that's fluoride and chlorine right off the bat. Could be right there. No, that's what it is. Right there, Flora, so. Fluorochlorophenorum. I don't know what the phenorum part is, though. i got to look that up. It, and what some is it exactly? A, and some type of an adjuvant to make the... Are you sure you're saying it right, Carl? Shiny and uh, give them shelf life on the shelf for fruits and vegetables. Make it nice and shiny. Grow very large. Looking pretty in color. But is there no toxicity? Taste. And there's toxicity associated toxicity with it? Toxicity is hidden over the, over time when consumption could contribute to cancer. Well, I, you know, it's fluoride and chlorine. Those are two nasty compounds, that's for sure. So, or, or potentially nasty, I should say. You know, fluoride is an essential is a nutrient, essential nutrient, and chlorine uh, uh, chloride is also. So, but in some forms, it can those can def, those two elements can definitely be toxic. I don't know what the phenorum is, but you're sure you're saying it right? Because I never heard of that. Chlorophenorum. Fluoro. Just have to look it up about. If you cut a bone, oh, there's like a YouTube video. It's a bright side video. Yeah, okay. It's kind of ironic. They, have, they use the word bright side. Okay. I'll have to talk to them about that. On YouTube, All it's right. a channel, and they give you information about health and nutrition and all kinds of facts and things. Okay. And life hacks as well. All right. Actually I'll improve that. your life. And if you do that, you know, if you avoid all that, the here's the good news. Farmer's markets. Your yeah. local farmer's markets. Yeah. <laughs> that's the yeah, that's true. We got, we got some good ones here. Uh, you probably have some good ones in Oregon as well. All right, that's we good. Do. Did they tell you what they you could do? Did, did they tell you what you could do about fluorochlorophenorum? Don't if you, buy if you're exp certain fruits that have certain characteristics from major grocery stores. As, like shiny? Like if, the, they're, like if they're shiny? Well, yeah. If they're, well, yeah. Well, what you do is you do, um, 
you check the, you know, you always check for organic, but that doesn't mean anything. I mean, this could be an organic substance, or it could be organic. Anything could be organic. But you want to find out if it's locally grown from your local farmer, a local right. farmer who produces it. All right, you want that's to go local. That's a good tip. Now, tell me about this website, the, these YouTubes. It's, it's the channel is called Brightside, and it's called it's called the Brightside. All right, we'll give them a little plug there. Maybe we'll get them on the air. It's like called the bite side, and they give and you all kinds of good information on there. Yeah, uh, from health and nutrition to life hacks, okay, to improve your life. Things that you never thought of, of before that they give you information for. Just is it part of your life? Is it part of a product, or are they selling a product, or is it just general information? Uh, that, no, it's just general. It seems to me over the over my over time for me viewing it, it seems to be just a program for information. It's like an information type of a channel. Okay. All right, cool. And it's called yeah. Brightside. All right, well, good. I like oh, that. Oh, I like anything God. that says Brightside in it. <laughs> yeah. And That's why I call this program I, I, the Brightside. You know I, you know why I called it the Brightside? Yeah. I was sick of all the negative stuff. You know, it's right. like fear sells. So there's all this negative stuff out there. You know, if you listen to something on the radio and it doesn't make you feel good, if you're listening to somebody at, at, or some show and it's not, or some person and it's not making you feel good, you get angry, that's not something you want to yeah. listen to. That's not helping you. No. You know, if something's making you scared when you hear it, you know, I know about the New World Order. I, I'm f very familiar with it. I was reading David Icke in the 1990s, early 1990s. So I know all about the stuff. I'm not Pollyannish about any of it. And it's kind of interesting, a lot of it. But if it makes you scared, if it makes you feel fear, that's not helpful. That's not, it's not making you healthier. It's, it's shortening your life. It's amping up your cortisol and your risks of, high, of disease and accelerated aging and wrinkles. It doesn't benefit anybody, you know? It's titillating, and, and fear sells, and in marketing, they always tell you to make your customer feel scared so they'll buy your product, but I didn't like that. I didn't, that didn't sound good to me. That's why I call this program the bright side, because there is so much good, good news. It's like the human brain defaults to fear. You gotta kinda push yourself to seeing the bright side, because we default into fear, because that's more survival. That, that's more of a threat to our survival than, than, than feeling good. But you know what, you can't feel, you can't feel safe and secure at, or you can't feel uh, 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 healthy and strong if your uh, your sympathetic nervous system is activated. So if you want to feel healthy or strong, you got to figure out a way to damp down that sympathetic nervous system, not by masking it with drugs, or not by turning it off artificially, but by figuring out what the heck we're afraid of, what the fact, what has gotten into the system, what kind of virus has gotten into the system. And indeed, fear is a virus. A virus is a, a little entity that doesn't care about you, that just cares about propagating itself. And fear, that's what fear is. Fear is like a virus. It doesn't care about us. It cares about, uh, and I'm, talking, I'm not talking about the, like instantaneous fear, like a lion is about to eat you. I'm talking about long-term chronic fear. It doesn't serve us. It only serves itself. It's a mind virus, and you've got to be careful of that. That's why I call this program The Bright Side, because there is so much good it's stuff right out now. there. Well, well there's so much good stuff out there, especially in, in, in terms of the body. There's so much good stuff. Carl, thank you so much for your fluorochlorophenorum or chlorofluorophenorum. Rest uh, in peace, tip. Mr. Art Bell, wherever Mr. Bell is. Yes, I loved Art Bell. Mr. Take care, buddy. Good yeah. to talk to you. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010. I'm sorry. 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben team. Give them a call if you want to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business. That's 866-735-2470. 866-735-2470. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.